Before we get to the fix, I'd like to take a moment to go over a bit of background. If you'd like to skip this preamble and get straight to the nitty gritty, you can find timestamps in the video description. I recently released a video documenting the glaring graphical artifacts I saw when I tried out the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator. To my surprise, the majority of comments under the video were claiming that they hadn't experienced anything like I was seeing. They suggested that the problem was certainly on my end. Perhaps my video card was failing, my drivers were out of date, or maybe I was just an idiot. After seeing so many negative comments, I started to wonder if they were right. Maybe it was all on my end and I royally screwed up. Should I delete the video? Thankfully, I eventually started getting comments from other players confirming the existence of the issue. There were also a few posts on Reddit and Steam talking about it. One thing was clear. Those of us having issues were definitely in the minority, and the problem was most prevalent at 4K. Most players didn't see any issue with the graphics, or the artifacts were so subtle that they went unnoticed. I can see why so many people who watched my video were perplexed by my claims. After spending some time looking into the issue, I think I've figured out what's going on. When you initially run the game, it detects your hardware and automatically sets the best settings for your system. And I'm using best in scare quotes here. So essentially what the game does is it goes, this guy is playing at 4K resolution, let's turn the internal resolution way down, while also turning the upscaling and TAA way up to make sure the performance is adequate to run this demo. Since there are no real graphics options, you're stuck with whatever it sets, unless you wipe the configuration data and reinitialize the game. Which brings us to the workaround. We're going to trick the game into thinking we're running it at a far less demanding resolution, so that it keeps the upscaling and anti-aliasing to a minimum. With that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is turn off cloud saves, otherwise the game will pull your old artifact-laden save file the next time you launch it. Next, we need to find and delete the local save files on your computer. The easiest way is to open up File Explorer and search your drive for SS1 underscore data, or simply SS1. Right-click on the file and select Open File Location. Please note, deleting these files will delete any saved characters you may have. If you've spent a substantial amount of time working on your character, consider making a backup of these files so you can replace them later when the full game releases. Otherwise, don't worry about it and delete away. Now, the most important part. We're going to change the desktop resolution lower than our monitor's native resolution. I'm dropping down from 4K all the way down to 1920 by 1080. Okay, let's launch the game. As you can see, we're back at the setup menu. Work your way through the settings until you're at the title screen. The new hidden settings are now locked in. Now, let's exit the game and go back to the Windows Display Options. Change the resolution back to your monitor's native resolution. All right, stay with me, guys. We're almost done. I promise. Before we relaunch the game, we need to make sure cloud saving won't undo our hard work. Re-enable Steam Cloud, and notice that there's a file conflict now. Click on the icon and select Local Save. Okay, we can now enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let's relaunch the game. Set the in-game display options to your liking, and let's get into the character creator. And there we go. Not only are the artifacts gone, but the image quality is super crisp and clean. I'll be honest with you, I was feeling a bit pessimistic after my first impression with this demo. But now having seen how good the graphics can potentially look, I'm really looking forward to playing with the graphics settings at launch. If you try this workaround, please tell us your results in the comments. I'll be back with more Dragon's Dogma 2 content when the game releases later this month. I'll try to get a recommended settings video out as soon as I can. Well, that'll do it for this one, guys. As always, please hit that like and subscribe button. 
but only if you found this video helpful or interesting. And if you pound that dislike button, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a comment telling me what you disagreed with. Till next time.